update from VCSA 7.0 update 2D up to 7.0 update 3. Hopefully it works. So let's have a look here. If we start with the lifecycle manager there, it's actually update planner I was looking for. This is a screenshot from back in August. Sorry about that. Doesn't matter, I went to VAMI anyway. What we want to do is bring up the VAMI interface to launch VAMI, the um, web UI to do the update. And if you do it from Lifecycle Manager, it works in the past. If we do it straight from VAMI, it tends not to work. But I like to learn. <laughs> I like to see if you know things have been fixed that have been longstanding, so I don't want to assume anything. Let's go to VAMI and see how it goes. So I'm logged into VAMI now. And this error. Good. Okay. So I didn't use to need to use Lifecycle Manager this time around. Uh, I was able to go straight into VAMI and get it to work in the second try there. And that's kind of awesome. So that's progress compared to what happened when I went from 7.0 update 2C to 7.0 update 2D. This is good. Um, stage and install is now available to me. It's still going to make sure I do daily backups, and that's cool. My daily backups, uh, the server's been powered off for a few days, so it might give a little bit of an error, but 249 minutes is not going to be true. Let's go ahead and check on the backups. And as usual, um, bit of product feedback. It'd be great if end time was in the other sort order. So the most recent backup would show up in first. Uh, okay. So September 30th. Yeah, I powered off for about a week. So yeah, I'm good. I'm backed up. And here we go. Now you could also do a snapshot at this point. If you don't trust that update three is going to go well, um, especially in a home lab, just, you know, right click the VCSA VM and do a snapshot. That'd be the easiest way to Roll out should this go horribly sideways. Now, remember, I've already got an upgrade going, but all it's doing is downloading stuff now. So we can do take snapshots. Create the snapshot and we should see it in recent tasks. It's taking a little while there. There it goes. Nice. Finished. And again, the downloads are just underway. So we're in good shape now. I'll probably just time lapse speed up this section. But yeah, I'm delighted to see Lifecycle not, Manager not needed here. We can just go straight into VAMI and have a successful upgrade, hopefully. So uh, stay tuned to see how that goes. And after that, you upgrade your ESXi host. There's a number of ways to doing that. But um, yeah, that'd be after updating update three for your VCSA appliance first. Okay, we're back. It was a good long while there. I couldn't log in, so it was still doing its thing. So the VAMI interface disconnects, now we're reconnected. And now we'll just wait even longer. All right, it's been quite a while and I have a feeling this isn't just uh, updating. Huh, 91%. All right, well, let's just for grins see if uh, vSphere client can log in. Whoa. Uh, updates available 703. That's interesting. <laughs> um, all right. Let's see what updates it's talking about. So yeah, I think it's, oh boy. All right. Just going to wait it out. Not worry about it, but, um, yeah, a little weird. We'll see. 
All right, I waited a little while longer. Let's see how things are looking over here. Still authenticated, still saying there's an upgrade available. Let's go a little further. Let's check out um, ESXi host client. Let's see what the VCSA appliance is looking like for the local console. And there you go. It's not updated yet, right? It's not 7.0.3 yet. So just continuing to wait, but it's taking kind of long. And let's uh, hit refresh here. All right, I've been bumped out again, so that's a good sign. We have a look at the local interface. We made it to three. Ah, there we go. Okay, so it did reboot, but it's just too early yet to get in. So I need to be a little more patient. And there you go. So keep on waiting just a little longer. And, uh, We'll see. Aha. Uh -huh. Installation complete. I missed going from 91% to 100% right at the end of the there. I didn't pause the video or fast forward it. It just, uh, I was overlooking at another screen. Sorry about that. But So that's a good sign. Oh, nice. I'm back in Navami. It's checking and it shouldn't find anything. <laughs> awesome. All right. That was the smoothest upgrade I've had in... I think this whole year, so that's good. Vami has done its magic. Now the last piece is to wait for the login and functionality. If it seems to be fine, I'll go ahead and delete that snapshot and call it a day. So a little longer. We'll wait for the ability to log in as the VCSA appliance finishes. All right, looks like I'm in, and this is good. System's up to date, last checked here. No more update avail uh, said to be available or needed up there. All looking great. So what's left? Well, you might remember the snapshot. Uh, CPU exhaustion, interesting. Um, that one I've seen before shortly after booting, so not a big shocker to me, but still a little weird. All right, I'll keep an eye on that, but um, this is good. And I can actually, I'll see another backup happen tonight with the machine on. Uh, so yeah, we go back to the top level here. Um, here's our data center and our VMs. And that's it. I'm now committed. <laughs> All right. I'm in it. Snapshots going away. So that's it. A successful VCSA upgrade. We're done here. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing or at least thumbs up the video. All of that's really appreciated. It helps surface the video for others to actually enjoy it on YouTube and it's greatly appreciated by me personally. Also consider visiting the associated articles at takeertry.com. Bye for now.